I remember right when they sh right when they shot me, like it was just like my was shocking sensation. Like my I think I fell face first, but I didn't know I was paralyzed at that time, or I didn't. Yeah. So I fell face first, but I remember I I I end up on my back. I end up. So I don't know if I was paralyzed at that time. Mm -hmm. I remember I end up on my back looking up and then that's when as when i was looking up john Levin was stomping on my face as i turned to my left then i remember because i was choking on my blood i seen them shoot jonah i think three or four times you guys i have a question i would like to ask any answers i would like for you to leave them down there in the comment section below could you forgive somebody who shot you and put you in a wheelchair for the rest of your life the next story we hear is going to be kind of difficult to listen to my man was working at a venue that hosts illegal chicken fights an altercation happened and one thing led to another and they tried to kill him and in doing so they left him paralyzed from the chest down for the rest of his life i asked him a question i said do you forgive the people who shot you his answer may shock you but he said yeah i couldn't understand it it's something that I still can't understand. Every year, 250,000 people to 500,000 people each year end up with a spinal cord injury. This is just one of their stories. All right, then. So, look, man, before we get into, you know, like the day of your incident, just go ahead and tell us a little bit about you. You know, like where you from, your age, uh, your date of paralysis, what level of injury you are. Okay. Just like, you know, little stuff like that. Yeah. So, my name is Dale. Um, I was born and raised in Hawaii. Uh, I got shot May 16, 2021, and, uh, I'm, I'm T4. T4? So, so right, right below my nipples down. Damn. Yeah, so I got, I got no core. Mm, no core, okay. Yeah, no core. Okay. Okay, now, you know, like, uh, like, would you into any sports before you got paralyzed or anything? Yeah, yeah, actually, um, um, I played football in high school, then, um, I got into fighting. Uh, okay. Um, I turned pro in 2013. I fought, you know, I fought professionally as, as I did MMA. I did, uh, okay. I did boxing and I did kickboxing okay. and I just, just recently I did, um, bare knuckles. Bare knuckles? Ooh. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. Like in the chair or out the chair? No, out the chair. <laughs> Ooh, bare knuckles. Yeah, hey, yeah. You know, what? one of my boys got a fight league called the Thump Yard. And you I, know, like, hey, look, they be getting it in, you know. You I know. Check I, them I, out. I, 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 I seen what I seen that interview. Uh, you did mm -hmm. with, 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 with that cat. But yeah, I mean, yeah. before, before this, I was, I mean, and then just recently, I just kind of started coaching, boxing, and stuff like that. Um, okay. And then yeah, I just got into this incident. So. Okay. Okay. Now, are you doing anything post post injury? Like, uh, like you doing any like you know like wheelchair box or anything? Like you want to no, get into no, it? No. Okay. No. Okay. I mean, it got just, it out there. I know, I know. I just freaking just trying to, you know, get a schedule down. I mean, still recently, it's bare, barely a year. I mean, it's oh, coming true. up on a year, actually. True, true. You okay. know, trying to figure it out. Okay. All right. Now, before you got in a wheelchair, what was your perception of people in wheelchairs? I mean, so my dad was in a wheelchair, my biological dad. Okay. But he, he, could, he could walk, like. Mm -hmm. But he he chose not to walk. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. He was kind Not of a big pain. big dude. Yeah, I mean, okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I just he just was. I freaking honestly just he just was so laid back and so comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now that kind of answered my my next question because I was going to ask you: Did you know anybody in a wheelchair? But yeah, yeah, I knew okay. my dad. My dad was in a wheelchair, but he wasn't paralyzed. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like me. Mm -hmm. I mean, not everybody in wheelchairs are paralyzed because I actually come across people that can move their legs, that can kind of stand up and everything. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to walking, it's just like, you know, like some people can't or, you know, some people are just, you know, like they paralyzed from like the legs down, but they can feel like like half of their legs, but they can't feel like everything. So, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now getting into getting into the day of your injury, how was um, the day going for you? Man, it's actually going good. Like, um, I never, you never thought. I mean, you never thought getting up that day, your life going to change forever, you know? Exactly. I know. So, um, I was actually uh, with my girlfriend. We slept at a friend's house, mm -hmm. got up, um, 
and then I so and anyway, I I work kind of so let's take it back. Um, okay. In two in two thousand um nineteen, I got I got into an incident with my my kid's mom. Just things wasn't going good. I ended up leaving Arizona, came back to Hawaii. Okay. And I was like, dude, I literally came back with absolutely nothing. I just came back because I just wanted to get away. Yeah. Um, uh, my kid's grandmother just gave me, I think it was like, I don't know, like whatever money she had in my in her wallet, she gave me. So that's all I had. Mm-hmm. But long story short, I came back to Hawaii like, with no no thoughts. I just wanted to get away. Mm-hmm. I ended up linking, with one of my, linking up with one of my friends. He kind of, um, um, he kind of gave me some work at, at the illegal game room. Okay. So in Hawaii, there's no casinos, there's no gambling. Gambling is illegal. Okay. So anyway, it's like an illegal game room. So I was working security there. Then a couple of weeks later, he like gave a poker me a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of okay. like a poker house. But a couple of weeks later, he ended up giving me another opportunity to work at the chicken fights. Mm. So I, I was working security at the chicken fights. Okay. Making making make, making money there, so that's how I kind of got into to 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 this um to this incident. So anyway, okay. the morning I got up, I was sleeping at my my girlfriend's friend's house with, with my girlfriend, and mm-hmm. um, I got up early in the morning. I took off. I went I went to 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 the chicken fights to go work. <laughs> I mean, so it's kind of a big big. It's called a derby. Like okay, the, um, it was a five cock derby. Mm-hmm. So. It was kind of like an all-nighter thing. Anyway, so this guy was drunk and belligerent, like going crazy in the ring. And uh, he ended up almost kicking a bird. Mm. So the next guy came up, the next fighters came up to fight their bird. And they asked me, like, dude, can you get can him, can you get him out of here? Mm. I was like, okay. So now, now, is he a spectator or... Was he somebody that was actually fighting his birds? No, he's just a spectator. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah. So everything was going good up to that point, and then that's when we got got into the kind of the altercation. They asked okay. me to um, yeah, to to ask him to leave. Mm-hmm. Other than that, everything was going smooth. I mean, I was making money, you know. And just, yeah. just, just an ordinary day. Okay, okay. Now leading up to the incident, they got the chicken fighting going on, and then that's when they asked you to ask him to leave. Correct. Now, correct. Now during that incident of you asking him to leave, is there, is there like an altercation that goes down, or is there words that said like what's going on at that moment? So, initially, I asked him to leave, and then, okay. and then um he was kind of drunk, and high. He was like high, you know. Okay. Um. So I asked him, so I said, in, in Hawaii, out of respect, you kind of call, call your elderly's uncle, you know what I mean? Okay. He's, a, he's older. So I said, Unc, do me a favor, go outside, because these guys don't like, these guys don't want to fight their bird until you leave. Mm-hmm. Then he was like, why? Then he kind of yelled. He said, why you not tell everybody else to leave? There was like, I would say maybe like five or six people in the ring. Okay. Then I was like, Unc, they asked me to tell you to leave. You know, he goes... Mm-hmm. Then he then he yelled no, then he yelled and swore. He said, "No fucking embarrass me in front of everybody." Mm-hmm. I said, "I'm not even." I said, "I'm not even embarrassing you. Just go outside." And I told him, "You know, matter of fact, I'm gonna go outside with you. I'm gonna go outside together." Mm-hmm. Then he's getting kind of crazy. And there's kind of like a crowd of surrounding us. Okay. Then he kind of got in my face. He like he was kind of squatting down, and at the same then when he they stood up and he kind of came face to face with me. He's kind of a little. He's shorter than me. And then he, he then he said, "Don't fucking embarrass me." When he said "fucking," he spit flu. I mean, one thing I mean, I hate bodily fluids. Somebody else's bodily fluids. I mean, like I think that's the most odd, awful, like that's the most disrespectful thing you can do. Mm-hmm. That's when I told him, "I said, oh, so either you gonna leave now, or I gonna make you leave. It's up to you." Mm-hmm. And then the other guy came up to me and he said, "You know, don't let him go." So I ended up walking away. I ended up walking away from the incident. I was kind of heated already. I walked yeah. away, and then I told my other friend to go handle it. He went in there to handle it. Maybe like ten minutes after, um, the the guy um the guy I got into the incident with, mm-hmm. um he 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 left. So left? I, yeah, okay. he left. He left. So as as he was leaving, okay. go ahead. So 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 during the altercation, 
you end up leaving and then your friend he kind of handles the situation and then he has the guy go outside yeah so but at okay. the same I, I when at this so i went i went to the front gate so i just was chilling just mm-hmm. uh, you know like just kind of cooling down yeah. so uh, my friend i had him leave and as he was leaving we crossed paths because there's only one way and one way out so he seen me, he looked at me, he shook his head, and I, I didn't think nothing of it. So he left. No matter of fact, actually, the guy's son called. He's like, oh, what happened with my what, what happened with my dad? I was like, dude, I, I, your dad is drunk, religion, and he just, he got to leave. Who did he call? Did he call the club or? I don't, I don't, um, the, the son actually called me on, 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 on my cell phone. Okay, so was this a person that you knew prior to this yeah. incident? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I know, I know okay. him. Um, okay. Yeah. So, a long story short. So, I was kind of skidding the um, the dice games too. Yeah. And I and I was bringing my my brother in law Noah. I shouldn't have said anything, but anyway, I was bringing my brother in law, mm-hmm. but um. My brother in law was good friends with 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 his son. Okay. With 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 um the, with 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 his son. So anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, so the son started coming around and then the dad started coming around too, started hanging around. Because no really really nobody wants him nobody wants the dad around. The dad is on a rat. Like he he, he ratted out so much people. Like he works for the feds. Okay, so so is all this kind of after the whole chicken fighting thing? So, like, this is the same day, correct? Um, so we 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 started hanging on prior to to the chicken fight day. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. So, so th- that was how you kind of met the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's how that's how we kind of met each other was through his son. Okay. okay. But the day, the day of the incident, the son called me. He's like, "Oh, what happened?" Blah blah. I guess the dad called him, saying this, this, and that. Mm-hmm. And then I said, "I don't know. Your dad is drunk, religion. Like, you know how he gets." So right after that phone call, the dad, the dad left. Mm-hmm. I was like, I didn't think of anything, nothing. So I went back into the ring. You know, just do what I do, what I came to do. Yeah. Maybe I would say ten minutes later. Uh, somebody came running. There's a girl. There's a girl there with a gun. I was like, well, then I was kind of tripping. I, I'm there, so I'm there to to you know what I mean to protect the people and you know what I mean yeah. yeah. Do you have a gun? Um. Yeah. Well, I did, but at that time, at that time, my girlfriend always drive around my car, and mm. in in Hawaii, gun, guns are illegal. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you just security, but like you just there as like muscle, like you ain't got no weapons or anything, like you just there. Yeah, at that muscle. time, okay. at that time, I did normally, 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 like I do carry a strap because nowadays nobody wants Ooh. to strap. Okay, so in like a week's time, seven day period. Yeah. How often do you carry your gun, and how often don't you carry your gun? So Every we can kind of get like a little perspective. Every oh, day. So this was so this was just an off chance that you just didn't have it. Yeah, because well. I just like I just recently met my girlfriend and my girlfriend just started driving my car, you know. Oh. And I was like, "Frick, I just don't want her to get pulled over with it." Yeah. And 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 you can do serious time with 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 a position of a firearm. Okay. But okay. just 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 like for me, I can handle my own, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But nowadays nobody really wants to scrap, honestly. Nobody yeah. they rather shoot first. But within a seven days period, like I would have them every day, but just that day, I I left them at home because my girlfriend always drives a car and would, by herself too. You know, there's, if she gets caught yeah. by herself, there's no way I can say, "Oh, it's mine." You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, just that day, I didn't have it. Like I was running late too. Like I was supposed to be there at seven o'clock. I got up at nine o'clock, and and I live. I mean, we was at her girl. I mean, her friend, my girlfriend's friend's house, which is like forty five minutes away mm. from. For the chicken fights, okay, but yeah, but anyway, just that day just so happened, I was caught naked, you know. Damn. Okay. But I feel like I feel like this kind of way God would bless me too because if I did have them, 
I probably would have did something could put me in jail for the rest of my life, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, you know, I, that's self-defense, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, okay, so when the girl, you said a girl runs in there and says that there's a girl outside with a gun, correct? With a gun, with a gun, yeah. So Okay, okay so when you go outside, what happens? So I took off. I took off running towards the gun, and then. Was you well, scared at all? Nah, I wasn't even scared. Like I felt like this is like I felt like so. The pot was like I think. The 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 whole if you win the whole derby, you win like maybe I would say close to three hundred thousand dollars. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So these ain't. These ain't no little chicken fights. These, no, no. It's big money over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so is it like a tournament where it's just like a battle royale? It's like like the last person standing wins. Type no. Thing? So what? So what it is? It's like pretty much the best record. That day, that day was um uh, that day was a five cock derby. Okay. So whoever with the best record pretty much wins. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So it was. Okay. I think it was close to three hundred thousand a pound. So I was like, I thought okay. that these these guys came to rob us. I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, frick, these nobody gonna come rob us. Mm-hmm. Not knowing, like, I wasn't even thinking, like, I just got into an incident, you know. Mm, yeah, it never even crossed your mind. Never even crossed my mind. Like yeah. at that time, I generally was pumping. Mm-hmm. And I was like, frick, nobody's gonna come here and rob us, you know. Mm-hmm. So as 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 um, I ran. Towards the gun, um, this other girl was yelling, Dale, go get my son. And I was thinking, like, I was thinking, like, go get your own son. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because this is, like, this is a family event, honestly. Like, people bring their kids. It's an all-day thing. Like, we literally started 9 in the morning. It'll probably go to 9 the next morning. Mm-hmm. Now, now, is that legal? Mm-mm. Is that legal in Hawaii? Mm-mm. No, it's no, it's not legal. Gambling, yeah. anything to a gambling is illegal, and anything okay. like, especially chicken fights, is mm-hmm. is okay. cruelty to animals. Huh? Mm-hmm. But anyway, yeah. So the, the girl yelled, "Go get my son." She kind of yelled, "Loud, Dale, go get my son." So I I think that's how they heard my name. And then um. And then. The guy turned around. I think I can say his name. John. His name is Jonathan. Mm-hmm. Jonathan turned around. That's that's why that's why I got the got into the incident. Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay. Yeah. So Jonathan ended up see, hearing my name. He he sees me. He said, "Dale, what's up?" And I was like, "What's up?" You okay, know. So 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 Dale's the one with the gun and not the female. No, I me and I'm Dale. Jonathan. I mean, so, uh, Jonathan. J- Jonathan is the one with the gun, not the female. No, no, no. So okay. he so so. I didn't know who he came with. Oh, After the incident, kind of kind of gave kind of gave me the rundown. Okay. So he left and he came back with three other people, which was three guys. The female was was um, I don't know, I don't know how to properly say this um, but the the female was was um, one 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 guy as a girl, one trans, one was on tranny. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it was a transgender. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, in, in Hawaii they, they call it a uh, mahu. Okay. So anyway, it was a transgender. But anyway, Jonathan, Jonathan see me, he said, Dale, what's up? I was like, What's up? You know, he he's very smart. Jonathan Jonathan bring three people and all of them had guns. He didn't have a gun. Mm. He he's he's a mastermind, honestly. Yeah. But anyway, so he came. He came back. He said, "What's up?" I was like, "What's up?" So I, and then I looked to my right. There's his brother. His brother's name is Kavika. Mm-hmm. I look at Kavika. Kavika's holding uh, the gun behind his hip with like an extended clip. I seen the extended clip. Mm-hmm. So as I look to my right, Jonathan Jonathan punches me from the side. Mm-hmm. So I end up like freaking dodging punches. In my head, I was like, if I retaliate. They're gonna shoot me. Yeah. So I just was kind of rolling with the punches. I mean, you know, he caught me some good ones. I, I, I you know, what I mean, I, I ended up freaking taking those punches, mm-hmm. and then came to a point where like I was trying to look for the gun again. So I looked to my right, and to, to Kavika, 
And as I look into my right, John Levin clipped me again. And I, he, he punches me again. So I kind of got, I kind of got dazed. I, got, I was kind of staggering a little bit. So my first reaction, I took off running. I took off running. I turned to my left. I took off running. And I, I probably ran like a freaking four flat 40. <laughs> it was, I was so, it was, I was gone. Yeah. But um, as I took off, the first five shots went off. So, I was like, and 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 they just started shooting. They just started even, shooting. You weren't even fighting back. Yeah, they just started shooting. The first five shots went off, and I heard one bullet pass. It kind of like it was like shh. I was like, oh, this guy's shooting at me. Mm-hmm. Kind of slowed down. As I slowed down, Jonathan still was following me. He ended up he ended up punching me from the back. So I was like, frick. So I was like, yeah, you know, I still was rolling. I was kind of looking for the gun. I was in my head. I was like, where's this gun at? <laughs> I couldn't see nothing. Everything was happening so fast. You're generally pumping. So my heart racing. I end up running again. I took off running. I run towards the back. It was kind of dark. Mm-hmm. At the same time, too, I was, I was like hiding between cars and I was asking everybody if they if they got a gun. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure if somebody had a gun, you know, but nobody was, mm-hmm. was, was offering, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I, I was hiding between cars. I came next to a truck. I ducked down. And I, and I hear Jonathan, yo, Dil, we're going to kill you. Oh, my heart. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I felt like, you know, I just felt like, this, yeah. this, 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 this is this how it's going to end? So I popped my head up. as Because I'm ducking between cars. I popped my head up right there. Me and Jonathan made eye contact. We made eye contact. I don't know if he see me or, or, or what, but, like, I lift my head up. We made eye contact. I was like, oh, this guy see me. So I took off running. As I took off running, there's this other dude. Like he just went block on block my way. I was like, I was like, what the hell is he? I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. So as 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 he as he blocked me, I I kind of like did a swim move. And when I when I did a swim move, I I stumbled, tripped over it, and then I caught my balance. And I in my head, I was like, you know what? I was already tired, exhausted. Yeah. You're generally pumping. I was like, "Frick, I can't run no more." I was like, "You know, it is what it is." Like, mm-hmm. so I end up, I end up stopping right there, and then Johnny Van Dam came back, came back, and I end up catching up with me. Then this other guy, Dino, came in up in there. Okay, that, so so all this is going down outside in the parking lot. Where does everybody park- run to? Like, where's all like the patrons that's like inside the event? Like, where are they at? Everybody Everybody's just gone? everybody everybody's just hiding, running, leaving. Okay. And in my head, to tell you the truth, in my head, I was like, "Where the boys at?" Like, yeah. like, cause there's me, you know, like six other guys that are secured in this thing. Mm-hmm. So in my head, like, where's everybody at? And you they know? all left you. That's that, I mean, that, at that point, that's what I felt like. So one of one of my yeah. one of my friends, one of my other friends, when I stopped running, one of my other friends. He told he told the guys just leave me alone. Then I put in a gun to his chest. So I was like, yeah. anyway. So I stopped right there. I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, frick. Whatever happens, happens. Because I just was done running. Yeah. Then this little guy, his name is Jonah. I like I never. He be barely five feet tall, maybe a hundred pounds soaking wet. Yeah. One of the one of the smallest dudes in the block. So I stopped running. Jonah comes from Jonah. Then me and so me, kind of me and Jonathan were like we're like face to face right now. Mm-hmm. Jonah ended up punching Jonathan from the side. Mm-hmm. So I end up grabbing Jonah. I put Jonah behind me, like shooting Jonah. Mm-hmm. I I didn't I didn't know his name at that time. And all I said was, I said, all I said was, brother, no need worry. It's not your fight. Like it's all good. So I put him behind me. Okay, now now. Now was he one of the security guards, or he was just like a random dude that was there that that just started helping you? Yeah, he just was a random dude that started helping. But 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 Jonah is an OG. Like Jonah is like when um oh. back in a like he he's back in a day like they just built different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I I grabbed Jonah. I put Jonah behind me. Like I holding Jonah with one hand, shooting shooting Jonah behind my body. So now Jonathan is upset at Jonah, trying to swing trying to swing at Jonah and swing at me at the same time too. So I'm, I'm trying to shield Jonah, like protect Jonah, and, and then, you know, and dodge punches at the same time, too. Mm-hmm. 
So we end up kind of, we end up coming to a stalemate. Like, so me and Jonah standing side by side. Then they got the guy Dino and Jonathan standing side by side. I would say maybe about maybe fifteen feet apart. Mm-hmm. And I, we came, and this exact words came out of Jonathan's mouth. He said, "Boy, you know, Uncle love you." And I said, "I said, ma." I literally said, "Fuck you! You wait till I catch you." Then that's when Jonathan, when, but before all this was happening, we're standing still. Me, I tell one of my boys that was like was right there too yeah i said i said bro he got on guard and then he my boy looked at me don't worry i get mines i was like he like i saw him tell him like indirectly like like he got on guard like 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 handle that mm-hmm. but anyway he said it's gonna jam but so then jonathan turns to dino Tells Dino, shoot these. He said, he said, Dino, shoot these fuckers. Dino lifts up the gun. I, like, fuck us. I was like, and then I turn, I turned to my left. I, I was trying to run. As soon as I turned to my left, the first shot went off. Mm. The bullet clipped me instantly. So, it, so I turned, I turned to my left. So the bullet entered to, to my right, like right below my shoulder. So I ended up fracturing my ribs, puncturing my lungs, and then just lodging my spine. Just that one bullet. That one bullet. So, I remember right when they sh- right when they shot me, like it's just like my sh- was shocking sensation. Like my, I think I felt face first, but I didn't know I was paralyzed at that time, or I didn't. Yeah. So I felt face first, but I remember I I I end up on my back. I end up. So I don't know if I was paralyzed at that time. I remember I end up on my back, looking up, and then that's when, as when I was looking up, Jonathan was stomping on my face. So, he, so I was on the ground, like on my back, trying to dodge his kicks, you know. Mm-hmm. And then Jonah comes from the side, end up trying to stab Jonathan. So they end up rolling up, they end up rolling. Dino and Jonathan end up, end up rolling up Jonah. I, then I remember because I was choking on my blood. So as I turned to my left, I seen them shoot Jonah, I think three or four times. Damn. Yeah, so, they, so th- then when they came back, right? They came back and stick the gun to my head. And I was like, please let me live. I get two kids. The gun went click. I don't know if the gun went jam or it ran out of bullets. Mm hmm. And before, and then they, they was walking away. Before they walked away, Jonathan freaking kicked my face again. Damn. Yeah, so I remember turning to my left. I was coughing on blood. I was thinking in my head, like, man, I've seen this in a movie like 100 times. I'm going to die. Mm. Every time somebody, blood come out their mouth, they end up dying. Yeah. So. Are you in any pain at that moment? No, no, no. I really wasn't even in pain. Like, honestly, I, I guess it, everything was rushing or. Like, are you generally rushing? So everything kind of dies down. Maybe like, um, maybe a minute later, one of our boys came check on me, and I told him I cannot breathe. Yeah. So just what happened? This guy was there. He's a he's a paramedic. They said, "Oh, we gotta we gotta set we gotta sit him up." So they end up sitting trying to sit me up, mm-hmm. and then I said, "Dude, I can't even breathe more." I guess because. The, my lungs was filling up. Yeah. But, so I ended up sitting me up. I was like, dude, I can't even breathe. I cannot breathe more. So they, they ended up laying me back down. Um, they ended up putting me on the table. Like, uh, you know those, fo- the white fold-up tables? Yeah. So they put me on the table and they ended up putting me in the back of a truck. Mm-hmm. So we're in the back of the truck. They're taking us to the, to the, to, um, to the nearest hospital in the back of the truck because the ambulance was just taking too long. Mm-hmm. So they throw you and Jonah in the back of the truck? Yeah, they, they put me and Jonah in the back of the truck. Um, And as, as as we're in the back of the truck, I remember, like, I remember my, like, 
my my eyes was flashing. Like I was like, oh my god, I'm like I think I'm going. My breath was getting shorter. I was like, oh, like I, I was thinking in my head, this can't be it. I can't go out like this. Yeah. I mean, I said a little prayer, and 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 and, and I said, um, I told, I told, I, I all I said was, God, please don't leave, do not leave my kids here without me. Like this world is 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 a crazy world. Mm-hmm. I I I I, I shit you not. Like maybe I would say five seconds later, like I just got a big gasp of air, mm-hmm. and I started breathing. And then I hear my friend yell, take him to the comprehensive, which is the nearest hospital. Oh, I think in my head, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die at the comprehensive. If you, if you, if you um, get into a bad accident or if you got life threatening, something is happening to you and you get, you get taken to the comprehensive, nine times out of 10, you'll die. Mm-hmm. It's just not, Hawaii is like, Medic, like far medically behind, just far behind. Okay. But anyway, my friend takes me, said, yells to the driver, take him to the comprehensive. I was just thinking in my head, oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die at the damn comprehensive. So we end up pulling up to the comprehensive, and then my friend yells at the lady, my friend is shot. The lady yells back, don't fucking bring him here, take him to, she said, take him to freaking, um. Kapilani and Kapilani is like 40 miles away. Not 40, maybe 40 minutes away. I was thinking, oh my God, I'm going to die here. Yeah. So anyway, just just so happened the freaking ambulance pulls up at the same time. Okay. So they end up taking me inside the comprehensive, stabilizing me there and trans- transporting me to Kapilani. Okay. No, pa- yeah, I think Kapilani. No, Palimumi, I think. I think, I don't even know. Queens, yeah, Queens. Queens, Palimumi. Mm. Okay, so at that time, what's going on with your friend Jonah? I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. Mm. Um, oh, but he 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 got shot. I think in in his shoulder and his um his arm. Okay. So he doesn't have function okay. in his left arm right now. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so so are you conscious the whole time, like during the during the, the whole trip time to the next facility? Yeah. Yeah. So I remember. Telling my friend, I gave my friend um, my kid's mom's number, mm-hmm. and I said, "Dude, call my kids." Like I was trying to call my kids too because if that's my last goodbye, you know, I wanted to make sure it was my kids. Yeah, she wasn't answering, and then um, I ended up calling my girlfriend. In, when I was in the ambulance getting transported to Pali I ended up FaceTiming my girlfriend, and she just was just out of control. She was like balling and she's like what happened who did it she just wanted me to tell her who did it mm-hmm. so I ended up telling her who did it she knows who, exactly who did it um so uh, yeah it was like a 40 man it was a, one, one of the most longest drives ever from from uh when I comprehensive to to um Queens yeah but so we ended up getting there um you know I hear everybody so, dude, there was like so much people outside of the hospital waiting. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I freaking, I, I throw, you know, I throw, I throw the dub sign, let everybody know I'm good. You know, mm-hmm. I end up getting, I end up getting into um, to uh, into the hospital. They end up cutting me open right there. Uh. Yeah, they end up trying to cut me open, and I'm still like, I'm still freaking. Conscious, you know, they end up cutting me open, shoving the, the chest tube down my my chest. Damn, can you feel it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I remember. What I remember. Pain like? Man, it's, man, it's excruciating. Oof. I remember telling the damn freaking doctor, I was like, you, "Can't you guys put me to sleep?" And then, so I end up freaking dislocating my shoulder too. Mm, okay. So, so, like, so I had a um, I had a puncture lungs, fracture ribs. Um, I had a fractured clavicle, dislocated shoulder, and dude, my face just was all freaking, just all messed up. Mm-hmm. I, so I'm I'm on the um, I guess the gurney, I guess the 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 uh the 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 hospital. I mean the ambulance bed. Yeah. That stretcher, and the stretcher is not a big stretcher, like. So and, and I mean I'm kind of a big dude, so at the same time too, like my hands don't fit, like I can't rest my shoulder, I can't rest my hand on the. 
on the side of the bed. So I'm holding, for, I think, for, from the drive there to like, I was, I was holding my damn my damn arm for like, I want to say two hours. Damn. And I told them, like, dude, can you guys pop my shoulder in? Like, until they're cutting me open, they're poking me, they're trying to get me IV. Mm -hmm. I swear they poked me like a hundred times. I was dehydrated already, yeah. So they couldn't find a vein. So they poked me, poked me. I was like, I told them, man, if you guys poke me one more time, like, oh, frick, I was, I was about to lose my shit. Because they're poking me, cutting me open, and I'm holding my shoulder. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. So they end up popping my shoulder back in, and then, you know, freaking, they end up putting me in the, in the ICU. Okay. Okay, so... Because at, at some point, they got to put you under, correct or no? No, not, no. I don't remember even... Well, I don't remember falling asleep. Damn. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so... So when you finally get to the hospital, what's all the doctors saying? Nobody nobody told me I was paralyzed, honestly. I don't did even they know. they ask you, can you move your legs or anything? Or no, no. Okay, so did, so at what point did they say anything about your spine or anything? Like, like what? Like what? Like, um, I don't know how I found out I was paralyzed, by, but I remember asking them, how come I can't move my legs, you know? Mm. And then at some kind of point, time and point, I was like, frick, I think I'm going to be paralyzed, you know? Like, I don't know if, if they should tell people that they're paralyzed, like, mm -hmm. or they shouldn't. I don't know. I just yeah, feel I'd like... I'd be wondering the same thing because it seems like that they don't ever really tell you that you're paralyzed. But then at the same time, I can see them not telling you mm -hmm. and just kind of like letting your family know so your family can kind of break the news to you. But yeah. yeah, they didn't really tell me. They didn't really tell me either. Uh, like, I pretty much just had to put two and two together. It was just, I was yeah, like, I yeah. can't feel my legs, you know? Or, like, they put in a catheter and then I can't feel it, you know? So, mm -hmm. damn. It, it was so crazy because so I just recently met my girlfriend. Like, we're just, we're just, um, before I got mm -hmm. shot. So, I met her in, in, in February. Mm -hmm. And I got shot in May. But anyway, the day before I got shot, I told I told my girlfriend, I was like, dude, let we I mean we we just started, you know, we just started and I, and I asked her, let let's go let's go shower together, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, for the first time. And she was like, No. The next thing you know, the next day she's freaking she, she's like she's helping me wipe my ass, you know. Yeah. That's that's not, I I literally told her, like, dude, I just asked you to shower yesterday, now you're over here wiping my ass. Okay, so that's crazy because I I've, ne I've never met nobody who was actually conscious the whole entire time. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was conscious, and and I literally asked him, "Aren't you guys gonna freaking put me to sleep? Like yeah. I can't like this pain is is crazy." Yeah. Mm. So like when you say the pain is crazy, where's the pain at? Is the pain in your back, your shoulder? Like where's yeah, the pain? Man, I was so uncomfortable. I couldn't I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I mean, they they gave me a. Those, I think morphine or something. Okay. But it was it was mostly, I couldn't put down, I, like I couldn't literally rest my, my shoulder. Mm. And that's where most of the pain was coming from was my shoulder. Okay. Okay, now did you have any pain in your back or anything or? Nah, no, not, not really. really. Mm. Not really, like I never, okay. like my pain tolerance is kind of high too, you know. Okay. Okay, so. All right, so at the time that you really come back to and you kind of pretty much realize everything that's going on, what can you feel and what can't you feel? I just, freaking, I remember just it was so uncomfortable. Like, I don't remember exactly what I felt. I remember it was so uncomfortable to the point where I couldn't sleep. Mm, like, okay. Okay, so, so, uh, so pretty much at the time that you kind of come back to, you can feel your arms and everything, but you just can't feel anything below your nipples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Like I don't, I, like I don't remember exactly like how I found out I was paralyzed, or. Mm. But even when I did find out paralyzed, I was like, Shit, I ain't the first. I ain't gonna be the last. Like, yeah, it is what it is, you know. Damn, my my girl, my girlfriend was like, my girlfriend was more mad. Yeah. 
had everything than I was, you know. Mm-hmm. And the crazy part is, even when I was getting cut open, like I was, I was drugged up. The police came and, and trying to get a report from me. Mm-hmm. And I and but at that point, I was like, to tell you, the truth, I was like, "Figure, we're gonna handle this. How we're we gonna handle this? I didn't want to make a police report." Yeah. So I so they came back twice, and I ended, I didn't even make a police report. The third time they came back and they said Jonah Jonah made a police report, and I was like, "Frick, now I gotta make a police report," because I felt like Jonah would stick up for me, and me not making a police report is not gonna be fair for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not making a police report, but these guys, I just felt like these guys came at the wrong time when, when when they were trying to figure out everything. You know? Yeah. Okay. Now, did the guys eventually end up getting arrested? No, no. So the guy Jonathan is, is on rat. He's on rat. He worked for the feds. So he pretty much got away scot free. Okay, so, so what happened to the other guys? Dino, I don't know where Dino's at, but I know um I don't know what what what's the scoop for them. I never hear or anything about him. But um Kavika, Kavika ended up getting busted with other charges with different charges. Yeah, Damn, but crazy. for me, they they're saying that. Um, so when they came, when they came, they came like maybe I would say, I got shot on on, on a Sunday. Yeah. They would they came like on a Thursday, to okay. show me pictures and stuff like that, and and I told them like, freaking, how can you guys expect me for identify the right guy when I'm high on drugs? You know what I mean? Like I'm not mm-hmm. high on medication. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So now, it's like. I couldn't identify them, so I was like, no, it's, it's, it's pretty much shot, you know. But there's something going that, I mean, hopefully we can get going, you know. Yeah, some type of civil thing or something. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Because they should at least be liable for your doctor bills and stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, now, 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 did you have to pay everything out of pocket? No, no, I was, I, yeah, I was lucky. I ended up getting a, the state insurance and and, and okay and, I, and that was end up covering all of that okay 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 so once you finally put two and two together that you paralyzed what how long does it take for them to actually start getting you up and you know putting you in a wheelchair I think maybe like a week a week later okay but I remember like I, I like for me I, I was kind of. Like, it is what it is. It is what it is. Like, I'm paralyzed. I wasn't the first. I ain't going to be the last. Yeah. Okay. But that's when I kind of, like, when they put me in a wheelchair, I don't, um, that's when I kind of, like, my first breakdown. Mm-hmm. You know? But then I only could do it for, like, I would say 10 minutes because I had freaking headaches. So I was, my blood pressure was running up. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Okay, so how long does it take for you to actually go to rehab? Um, to like, you know, like PT and OT. Um, I think it was three weeks. So three at the weeks. same time, too, there was there at the same time I was in IC. They was making threats that there was they was gonna come back and finish the job. Mm. So that's one of the reasons why I stayed kind of extra long because in ICU, you kind of like. You have to go through so much doors, and there was actually like a police officer sitting in in front of my door. Mm-hmm. But I stayed in ICU for a little while. I think three weeks. But okay. I was already good. I think like one week. It was just trying to getting the paperwork together and then the safety. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when you finally start therapy, what's that like? I mean, it it, it was cool. I just feel like Hawaii is so far behind. I I just feel like. I don't want to be. I don't want to be taken care of. I mean, how I, I, how they said, I don't want like I want to be pushed. I don't want to be like baby. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Some days, some days, some days I would I would I would go PT and they're asking me what you want to do today. I'm like, I'm like, dog, like you guys supposed to have this stuff planned out before I get here. Okay, so do you feel like uh, like it was very unorganized? Super unorganized. I was lucky. I was lucky for my girlfriend because 
me, I don't. I hate altercations. Like if I can avoid altercations, yeah. I will just take the less end of. I'll take the bad end of the deal and just avoid the altercation. Yeah. My girlfriend would be. My girlfriend would be bitching everybody out, like just snapping. Mm-hmm. Cause me, I'm just. I'm. Not, I'm just like whatever. I don't want to just get into it. But. Mm-hmm. I just feel like they failed. They failed. They failed. But there's some. There's some good. To, there's some good trainers there. You know that. They really helped me out, but they're other than that, it's like I just feel like they fi- they failed, they failed, they failed me, you know. Okay, so how long are you actually in OT and PT for? Before um, they discharge you, six weeks. Six weeks, okay. Yeah, That's a, that sounds about right. Okay, in in that six weeks, do you feel like you learned enough to actually go home and like live a comfortable life, or do you um, feel like or, or what? Yeah, I mean, I feel like they, they taught me enough to just to just get by. Okay. okay, okay. Now, did you do any PT in OT once you left the hospital? Um, I, I tried. I tried a few times, but like all they was doing was so I live like literally forty minutes away from maybe forty to fifty minutes away from where I was going, mm. and I just felt like every I went there three times, and all they was doing doing was teaching me how to transfer. You know what? To be honest, I would say that 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 that's one of the most. Uh, to be honest, I feel like that that's one of the most important things yeah. that you can yeah. learn. Yeah. You know, like that man. That transfer helps with that transfer. You use it multiple times a day, mm-hmm. every single day. Yeah. You know, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, like you do, you do a lot of transfers. Yeah, I, and I just, yeah. I understand. I just feel like freaking. I was like, dude. For a whole hour, I come over and I just, you know, transfer to the chair, transfer to the chair. At least, like, like let me hit, hit some weights or, like, you know, help me work on my core, too, because I feel like core should be important, too. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Okay, so. Once you go home, what's that like? Is your... Who do you go home to? So, that's another you know, thing, too. Where do you go? I, so... I end up. I was living with my brother, and and where my brother lives, he lives on a hill. Mm-hmm. And then there's like a flight of stairs to get to his house, and then there's a flight of stairs to get into his house. Mm-hmm. So the medical team ain't approving that, you know. Mm-hmm. And then my girlfriend's dad then was like, "Dude, he can come live here." I'm like, "Dude, I don't want to live there," and like, cause they got a two story house. And, and, like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be living in the living room and everybody's going to, you know what I mean? I just feel like, yeah. feel like I don't want to live that life. Damn. And y'all was only dating three months, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long mm-hmm. had you known her prior to that? So I just met her, honestly. You just met her? It, it's so crazy because in Hawaii, everybody knows Hawaii. She knew everybody I knew. I knew everybody she knew. I, I actually met her dad um, when I was 16 years old. Um, freaking her dad and my and my older brother is, is like best friends, so they end up picking me up from jail when I was like sixteen. No, not sixteen, maybe seventeen. I think I was. They okay. they so nobody could pick me up because I ended up getting into altercation in school. Got into um and then they end up arresting me for trespassing because they told me to leave the campus. I didn't leave the campus, so I ended up getting arrested for trespassing. And I'm, the only person who picked me up was my brother. So her dad and my brother picked me up. But I never did, like, we never did cross paths. We never did hear each other or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I came back. I was end up training her brother, her, her brother. I, I trained her brother, her, her little brother. So that's how we got kind of got connected, you know? Okay. All right, so what's your final destination? Like, where do you go to? So um, the dad them end up building, like, a studio, like a like an ADA-approved studio on the side of their house for me. Yeah, I mean, I was so, dude, I was so lucky, so blessed, so fortunate. Um, you know, people donated money. Um, um, people donated time, like, you know, and and, yeah. and stuff like that. And man, it came, the house came out nice, and, and and that's where I'm staying now. For real? Yeah. Dang. So is so he built you, he built you your own little studio on the side of his house. Yeah. And like, is everything like wheelchair accessible? I mean the the bathroom is wheelchair accessible, like it's like a rolling bathroom, like you know, like okay. And then um, uh, it's just pretty much a studio, like a TV and stuff like that, and okay. And uh, 
Hey, it's something. Dude. It's something. These guys, they, they freaking, I mean, it's better than, man, it's more than I can ask for, honestly. Yeah. Honestly. It's like, who would do that for somebody, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Now, are you and his daughter still dating? Oh, uh, frick, we're kind of like, I mean, to tell you the truth, we, we're just kind of going to a rough spot. I mean, hopefully we can direct things out, kind of iron things out, but, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, she's been through a lot with me, and I've been through a lot with her, and, 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 and. In the process of me going through going through it, like you know the, yeah, um, like a lot of people don't understand like the 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 um, the mental part of being paralyzed. You know, like I try to, like I try to uh, I try to like put it off. You know, and and act like everything is good, but really it just creates yeah. bigger problem. Man, that's crazy that you actually bring that up because I had a podcast with with somebody else earlier this week and she wanted to dive into that aspect Mm -hmm. and then yesterday i had to do a podcast with the twins again so we did the part three which actually drops tomorrow and they wanted to bring up uh like the mental uh uh, like the mental health stuff too yeah we did a little bit so you know now we now we got a third time you know somebody that's bringing it up and i believe that that's one of the biggest things that we really don't talk about yeah you know, it, yeah. like, 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 like the mental health aspect is so big because you deal with it every single day. I dealt with it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, like, so trust me, you're not alone, you know, because a lot of the things that you probably think about, you know, when it comes to you being in a wheelchair that, that, uh, that might get you down. Like, trust me, we've all been there. We all yeah, go yeah. through it. It's, it's tough. It's tough, but <laughs> you can't hold those things in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you got to get them out. Because I was one of those, I was literally one of those people that just held everything in. It, you yeah. know, like, and I believe it was a, just an ego thing. Just, mm-hmm, just me mm-hmm. being a guy. It, being ego a and man. pride. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I'm telling you, man, this wheelchair, this whole wheelchair lifestyle, like, you, it's going to come to a point where you're going to have to put that ego and that pride aside and you're going to have to ask for help. Hence, yeah. kind of, hence, kind of like your girlfriend's dad. You know, like you yeah. want to move there, but you know you had to put that pride and your ego aside. And and look, they built you a whole nice little studio and everything. And now, now that's what you living at. You yeah, know, and yeah. it's crazy. It's crazy because yeah. I actually ended up in the you know like a little mental institution for a little bit. Dude, you it's know? crazy. Like, like so gr- growing up, I don't know if kind of I mean if your parents like growing up I, in the beginning stages of my life. Um. I was raised by my grand my my my, my grandfather and my my, mm-hmm. my grandparents, yeah. and then I was raised by my my dad's brother too. You know, mm-hmm. um, so it's like growing up around them is like they never really talked about their problems. They never really talked about yeah. what's going on with them. So I felt like they never really showed affection. You know, they loved you, but they they show love in a different way. Okay. So I I feel like that's the kind of like the lifestyle I I, I picked up on. You know, mm-hmm. so. You know, going through this is like whole and I, I like, and at the same time too, it's like my freak, my girlfriend. You know, like we just met. Now we're living with each other. You know, now she's freaking helping me wipe my ass, freaking showering me. In the mix and stuff. Okay. Yeah, like she, like at the same like what people don't understand is yeah, I got shot, but at the same time too, like she, her life changed too. You know. Exactly. Exactly. You know. So not only do you go through something, but the people around you they go through something mm-hmm, as well. Mm-hmm. You know. So I felt like. A lot of my insecurities, like I wasn't one insecure person, and 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 mm-hmm. and, but then when you become paralyzed, you be you pick up a lot of insecurities, you know. Yeah. So I felt like I didn't want to talk to her about it because she already going through her trips, and mm-hmm. I didn't want to add more. And I'm, you know, what I mean, I, and I was like, frick. But at the same time, too, by doing that, it created a bigger problem, like. Like I was trying to fight my demons, and, and it becoming for me it was like in in in, in becoming fighting a demon, you become a demon yourself, you know. You do. So it's in like, a way, not everybody, but you know, I could definitely relate. You know, I not that I burn, not that I burn bridges, but you know, I could see that that if if I burned a bridge with my parents, I could see that that happening during that time in my life where I was going through something. And, you know, mm-hmm. I didn't want to listen to them or I'm cussing at them or, you know, like just stuff that that's really just not me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because like you said, like you feel like you become a demon in a way like you like it's just. 
honestly, bro, it's like just that mental health aspect. It really just, it, it really just takes over you. Yeah, yeah. You it takes know? over your life, you know. It as, does. As, it and, consumes and, you. Yeah, and then it's like the people that really wants to be there, you end up pushing them farther away, you know. Exactly. So exactly. Yeah. I feel like that's that's not that like we're going through this because of my fault because. Mm-hmm. Really, really, it, called, it all could have been avoided if I would have been, I would have told her what my insecurity was. But I just didn't, I just didn't want to feel like she, I just didn't want to feel like she, she got to walk on eggshells or she can't do this because of my insecurities. Like, I just wanted to deal with that, do it on my own, you know? Okay. And when you say insecurities, what insecurities are you facing? No, you, you know, you went from one whole, one whole human being to okay. pretty much on half a human being to. Yeah. You know, at, at at one point, uh, you know, like me, I'm a man. I feel like I gotta, I gotta provide. You know, I gotta yeah. give, 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 um, my kids and give, give, um, give her what she wants. You know, yeah. and what she I, needs. You I know, understand. and then just, you know, just, you know, just, just, uh, you know, just, you, just being a man. Period. Being a man. Being period. A you know, just, yeah. I just feel like I, I don't let her down. But in reality, like she, she, she's a rider. You know, she, she, yeah. she ride all the way. Like, she just met me and she stuck with me. That's crazy. And then uh, I just soon turned into something that I I, I I totally was trying to avoid. But in, in trying to avoid being that person, you you know, you just trying to fight your demons. Now you become the person. Yeah. It's it's tough. It's tough. Trust, trust it me. It really is. Trust me. I can relate. I've been there. And, and earlier, like I told you that, you know, like I... I actually end up having to go to like a mental hospital, mm-hmm. and to be honest, man, that was one of the best things that I feel like that that really could have happened to me, you know, because I was able to really sit down and talk to somebody because they told me they was like, "You look, if, look, if you don't accept the program, like they're gonna keep you for as long as they need to keep you." Mm-hmm. And that was when I really just like, man, I don't really want to be here, like you know, like l- let me actually try to seek some help. Yeah, yeah, you know, like me talking to them was actually. You know, one of the best things that I ever could have did because I was able to just get so much off my chest. Yeah. You know, just yeah. just just really talking to people that didn't know me that like it just felt good. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. so yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm a real like when it comes to that, like I'm a real freaking prideful person. Like you know, they yeah. she told me maybe she could get help. I was like, frick, these guys they go home every day, like you know, like they walk home every day. They like. But I really, really, like, you just need somebody to talk to and hear you out, you know? Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I yeah. Feel you. Have you seeked help? No, not really. Not really yet. Like, not really? like Look, maybe I should, me. you know? Trust me. Tr- trust me. It's, it it would definitely help out. And, you know, you said you was a prideful person. Trust me. I was the same exact way. So, mm-hmm. you're going to go there the first time you... You might lie a little bit, but trust me, schedule a second visit. You're probably going to lie again. <laughs> the, third, the third visit, I'm telling you, stuff is just going to start leaking out. And yeah, then, yeah. you know, before you know it, you know, you're really going to be opening up and really talking and really getting the help that you actually need. Yeah, yeah. Trust you're me, right, you're, you're talk- right. You're talking to somebody who did not want to talk to anybody. You're talking to somebody who lied when they went lied like i literally lied to the person that i was talking to telling them everything was okay leaving 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 that office just knowing damn i just lied to that person you know Mm -hmm. what i mean like and and like i'm telling you man just schedule another visit and just keep scheduling visits for as long as you know that you actually need to yeah yeah because trust it it helped me a lot you know And, and and i don't know like just finding friends networking you know, talking. To yeah, people. yeah. You know, man. Yeah, freaking. Mm-hmm. One thing I really learned, man, about about all of this is is yeah. surrounding yourself with, with with the right people. You know. Exactly. Exactly. Man, I was to tell you, I was lucky. I got I got out the hospital. August something. Like I think it was August six. My girlfriend ended up taking me to Arizona in September. Mm-hmm. Like like a month later. Cause my daughter's birthday is, is, is in September, so we end up seeing my daughter, mm-hmm. you know, and freaking. So she just freaking just just winged it, you know. Yeah. And 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 I just I feel like freaking, I feel I feel, I feel like she she deserves more than what I what I, what I put out way more than what I put out, you know. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't. I just recently talked to her. I just and then kind of down I kind of shared with her like. 
what's been going on, you know, like what, what what's really been going on. I mean, she knew she knew something was wrong. Mm-hmm. Every time she asked me like, "What's wrong?" I was always like, "Nah, nothing. I'm good," mm-hmm. because I just didn't want to barrage her with all this. Yeah, she, you know, she already got a dapper life, and uh, you know, pretty much take care of me. <sighs> so I didn't want to be like, "Oh, freaking, I got this, this, and this," and she's like, "Oh, I gotta take care of you and deal with you, deal with all this mental stuff too." Yeah. So my 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 thing was like freaking surround yourself with, with with good people because it's gonna be a long road, you know. But at the end of the day, you gotta do it. Yeah, got to. You got yeah. to, my man. How do you feel like she took towards it? Man, she's 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 hurt. She's she's, she's um into the to the injury. Um, just adapting to this whole new lifestyle. Man, freak. She she's on. She just on adapt was like was. I mean, I guess it was like her her motherly instinct. She just took care, you know. But to tell you the truth, she's more angry than me. Like honestly, she, like, uh, she she not angry at me, or she's just angry at the whole situation, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, because for me, it's like it's it's a it's a shady. Like I always, this hard thing about it. It's it's a shady situation. It's it's a messed up situation. But it is what it is. Like the longer I focus on the not important things like you know mm-hmm. she like it's the longer a process is gonna take yeah i never really was depressed i never really like i never really uh was like was um down you know i mean even though i fight these demons like in my head i'm like dude the longer the longer you take to if you, if you're depressed the longer the process is gonna take exactly, exactly. you know and like you really don't have you know, when you first get in a wheelchair, you really don't have too much time to really be depressed because you, it's so much stuff that you're learning. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. it's so much stuff that you really got to adapt to to where, like, that kind of takes a back seat. You know, but you but you know that it's still there. Yeah, you yeah. You know? Yeah. And, like, and really, like I said, like that's one of the worst things to do is really just put it off. Yeah. You yeah. know, but, but at the same time, you know, you got somebody that you can confide in and... That's probably who you should, you know, because yeah. that's because that's who I can find. Like I like like I really sit down. I, I talk to my wife. Like mm-hmm. I share I share everything with her, you know, because yeah, I yeah. feel like I feel like that that I feel like that that was one of the best things that I ever could have did to really help out our relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, was yeah. really just open up because you know, like you just holding in things, it really just builds up a lot of frustration, animosity, and it comes yeah. out the wrong way. It, it yeah. really, like it, like like just like little triggers, like it really it comes out the wrong way. Like you things know? you don't, things you shouldn't even get mad about, you getting mad about. You know what I mean? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think we in this predicament because of. I mean, I mean, it it, it takes two, but to tell you the truth, like I just, yeah. I just, I just feel like if I would have opened up to her, you know, and if I would have just told her what is going on. We could avoid all of this, you know. Yeah. Okay. But she, she, like, she, she, even you know, even to this day, she's angry. She's like, "Dude, what are you doing to get justice?" Like, she's more on it than me. I, I'm, I'm just like, "Frick." Yeah. The day is gonna come, you know. Even if, even for me, is like, even if they can't serve justice here on earth, you know, they're gonna have to deal with God sooner or later, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, now going back to that night, everything happened. Is there anything that you wish that you could have changed about that night? No, nah, not really, honestly. Not really? Not really, to tell you the truth. It is what it is. Life goes on. Like, I to tell you the truth, it's better me than anybody else, honestly. Like, even though, even that. even though, um, even though, like, I get these mental breakdowns, like, I feel like mm-hmm. if anybody can get through it, it's me. Like, you know, if anybody was made for this, it was me. Okay. So I just feel like it is what it is. Like, life goes on and, and 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 sooner or later, like you, like I I can I can share my story, you know, and I can I, and I can write 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 my story and pass it on, mm-hmm. and I feel like I can help the next person, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, so right. it's 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 right, cause just your story would be able to resonate with a lot of people out there. Mm-hmm. Like, like there's a lot people can learn from this, good and bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, so it's just. People really just gotta listen and just take in the information. Yeah. Now, have you tr- have you talked to the guy that shot you or no? No, no. Mm, okay. No. 
I mean, he so Hawaii is so small, you know. Mm-hmm. Like sooner or later, we're gonna have to run into each other, you know. Okay. Okay. Now, if you run into him, what do you feel like that 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 would be like? I uh, saw so good. Probably shake his hand, you know, to tell you the truth. For real. Sure. You gotta. You gotta like in 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 order. Like some like okay some days yeah some days like before some days was 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 I figured I was angry but now I'm at the point like you gotta forgive like you gotta forgive it it's a it's a hard pill to swallow but I honestly like deep down inside I freaking just gotta forgive him you know like yeah. how how like I just feel like how I asked God for a second chance and He gave me a second chance and mm-hmm. and and I'm not gonna retaliate you know what I mean yeah but I just feel like. In order to move on with that part of my life, is like you just gotta forgive them, you know, honestly. Mm-hmm. But some days, you know, like I really, really, I really, I really like wish him nothing but the best, honestly. And and and, mm-hmm. and hopefully he can, you know, figure out what he did and what he did wrong, you know. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you could say anything to him, what would it be? Oh man, um, some rough one. I don't know. Like honestly, I don't, I don't know what I would tell him when I even see him. I probably would shake his hand and just roll away. Honestly, that's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just, you know, I just, I just hope, hope, hope for the best. Like I hope and pray for him, and, and I hope, I hope he make better decisions down the line. You know, yeah, because okay. it's not only the people he he. Man, to tell you the truth, he did. He did. There's a sto- there's a lot of stories going around that and the stuff he did. You know, just just recently he got into another incident, mm-hmm. and I just think he think he he think he invisible. You know, but gonna come in time and point where you're gonna have to face your face your what you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But to tell you the truth, I'll tell him. You know, if if he apologizes, I'll tell him I accept his apology and just you know, I forgive him, but I'll never forget. Yeah, that's strong, right? Yeah, that's strong that you even willing to forgive the guy that yeah. honestly put you in the woods. No, nah, I just I just happy I get to I get to see my kids, I get to raise my kids, and and you know it's yeah. it's it's a tough situation. You know that that to tell you the truth, that was one of my biggest fears was is my kids just gonna accept me. Mm. So yeah. when when um when when my girlfriend took me to go see my kids, I was like, Oh, is this gonna is it gonna send me? And it was so it was it was so good because they was actually um fighting over who's gonna push me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. But at least that is it's, it's just for me is like at least I get to see my kids. Yeah. It's truly a blessing that you hear yeah. still. Yeah, it really yeah, is. Things could have really went left. Dude, it sometimes people fall Six inches, and they their life just ends right there, you know. And and some people just get shot, and one time, you know, and their life ends right there. And I feel like God not done with me yet, and 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 there's a reason why I'm here, you know. Exactly. But at least I can be here for my kids. Like, oh man, I like mm-hmm. I don't know how I would, I, would, I would, my kids would be or mm-hmm. what what, because I actually man, I grew up in rough in rough lifestyle, but I wouldn't change it, you know. I I met. I never, I mean, my mom was a freaking drug addict, you know. Okay. So it was like, I never really, I grew up without a mom. I mean, we, me and my, my siblings bounced house to house, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. Okay, now since everything happened, like, have you, have you tried to get a job or anything? Yeah, I actually freaking applied for, you know, a couple online jobs. I never, I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm really ready to get into the real world of, <laughs> or, you know what I mean? Because okay. yeah. I'm still trying to find out, uh. Uh, you know, like to find out a schedule, you know, mm-hmm. here and there, cause um, yeah, freaking, out, cause I, I, just, I really, really like me and my, so me and my girlfriend kind of split, maybe like maybe I would say about two months ago. Okay. Like okay. living in, like, like she lives wherever she lives, in, and I live with her. I still live with her dad. Okay. Okay. Now, now, are you kind of scared to get back into the real world? Kind of, yeah. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, all boils down to ego and pride, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Really, really, like, Definitely. like you know, sometimes I freaking, yeah. I, sometimes I rather freaking not act, you know. But really, really, they're really there to help you. Yeah, they are. You know, they are. Okay, so what type of jobs have you applied to? 
there's online jobs, you know, like uh, freaking, you know, medical billing stuff like that, and because I, I ain't got the, I, I ain't got the best education in the world, you know. Okay. So I, at the end of the, but at the, at the end of the day, I still got kids. They, they, they got, they still gotta eat, you know, and and you know, if you wanna be with somebody, they don't wanna be with somebody broke and in a wheelchair, you know. Yeah, I trust. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. That, and that's one thing. Like, I always, I get my hair cut. I try to, you know, like. Yeah, you know, you can't be freaking paralyzed and ugly. Like you, you got one or the other, you know. So you gotta, you gotta stay fresh. You know what I mean? I feel you. I feel you. Trust me. I feel you. I feel you. But I feel yeah, you, my man. But look, just keep your head up and trust me, man. Things gonna get better. Yeah, right? always. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It hasn't even been a year for you. Yeah. You know. So so like just to even hear that you're looking for a job right now is is pretty inspirational for people. Yeah, I'm not freaking you know, like, damn, 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 man, it hasn't even been a year. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about that day? Are you, uh, are dude? You, are I just was, I just was thinking it? about that. Like, I was like, I think it's like a, 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 like it's another birthday for me, honestly. It's like another birthday, like a rebirth. Like, yeah, I just, but at the same time too, I'm like, oh my god, this is the day of my life changed forever. Like, True. you got mixed feelings for it. It's like. It does, yeah. It's it like does. you got blessed with another chance, but at the same time, too, you, that part of your life got taken away. Exactly, a life altering event, right there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, so I don't yeah, know what like, I'm. You know, for me, it's it's tough on that day, but you know, like I don't know. Well, so so what um, do you do? You keep yourself busy, like? Yeah, I try to keep myself. Man, I, look, that whole week is weird. All yeah. Right? Like the like yeah like the whole week all right because I got paralyzed on September twenty seventh so whenever that Monday get there bro that whole week just it gets weird but I just try to keep myself busy you know when the day comes you know I can think about it a little bit or sometimes sometimes I honestly go the whole day without even remembering then the next day comes up like oh damn I like I just totally skipped over that day yeah, you know so cool. yeah so I mean it's tough it's tough but I mean it's just another day to be honest with you you know. Trust yeah. Me, I did, look, look. I deal with I deal with little problems with that day too. So you know, it's it is what it is. You know, can't do nothing about it. Yeah. Can't do nothing about it. But, exactly. Yeah. But nah, man. Look, I, trust me. A lot of people will be able to really understand, you know, what you're going through because unfortunately, like, there's a lot of gun violence that goes on, and you know, like. I heard yesterday that around 83% of people that actually have spinal cord injuries get it from some type of gun violence. Wow, oh, it's crazy. You know, yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, so so crazy. And the, and the thing, too, is, like, mm-hmm. we were trying to uh, get to, like, the best rehab. Yeah. Like, I think it was Shirley in Chicago or something. Mm-hmm. But we end up, because Shirley, I think, I think Chicago has, like, the most gunshot wounds or something around there. Mm-hmm. But... Okay. We were trying to get to the then a freaking then we couldn't get there because they already we already went to acute rehab. They said why why like why 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 what what did they do that we couldn't do? But they don't understand like Hawaii is so medically behind. Yeah. Like super medically behind. Okay. Okay, so you still in Hawaii right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm still in Hawaii. Mm. Do you have any plans on leaving or Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm probably gonna move back to Arizona. Like gotta, it's hot yeah. out there. Yeah, but my I, kids, my kids live out there, you know. Oh, 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 oh you definitely yeah. gotta get back out there then. Okay. I gotta, I gotta hurry up before they start calling me uncle. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. All right, my man. But look, like I said, look, just keep your head up. You got this. You definitely it's only been appreciate, a year, man. Things are definitely going. Things are definitely going to pick up and you know start to get better. You know, the the best advice that I could really give you is. Really just network. Do what you're doing right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like, you see how you're talking to me? Like, you yeah. literally network. Like, you reach out to me. Yeah. Yes. Trust me. Network. Speak to people that are in your position as well. Because, uh, like, like for me, that was something I didn't do. And it was one of the biggest mistakes that I ever made. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? But you trust should. me. You want to network. Talk to people that are in which. Don't avoid. Don't avoid people in which. Because I did that. All right. You want to reach out. You want to talk to them. Because they going to eat. They gonna really give you game, you know. Like if you need help, don't put that. I'm telling you, you gonna have to put that pride in the ego side. If you need help, just ask. Yeah. All right. Cause, cause trust me, most of the stuff that you're dealing with right now, 
somebody already went through it. Exactly. Somebody done already went through it, mastered it, you know, like they got the answer for you or they got, you know, like uh, some type of information to give you. So, you know, like when it comes to getting on the schedule, if you need help with that, hit hit me up offline. We'll talk about it. All right. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. But look, my man, look, I appreciate you coming on the channel. I appreciate you guys having me, man. Hell yeah. It's freaking amazing. No problem. Hey, look. I appreciate you, cause like I tell everybody, man, I'm more nervous than y'all are doing these, <laughs> doing these podcasts. All right, so you dude, one, was nervous before you came on, but I'm the one that was really nervous. Dude, one thing with me, I hate like, so we, I mean, I fought a few, and they they always uh like interview me, and I'm like freaking stuck. Like <laughs> I don't know what to say. I hate cameras. Like. <laughs> Nah, I feel you. I feel you. You see, but this is more of like a little laid back one because you're on your phone. You know, yeah, I mean? yeah. either on your phone or you're on your laptop talking to me. You know, we're not in person. So it's a little bit different. You know, people are a lot more open a little bit because like the the like environment is like kind of chill because, you, you know, again, you're on your phone so you can really just talk, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So just kind of vibe out, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And that's what. And that's what I really try to do. Like, I really just try to vibe out with y'all, you know, like, yeah, so y'all yeah. can get comfortable and everything. Because, trust me, like, you ain't talking to somebody who just interviewing you for a story. You're actually talking to somebody who is kind of going to what you're going yeah, through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so like, you're a little bit more, I would say, you're just a little bit more kind of willing to share your story or, like, kind of willing to really just talk about things because, you know, oh, this guy probably done went through it, too. Yeah, yeah. So, but look, I appreciate you sharing your story, my man. And like I said, this is a story that a lot of people can really resonate with and really also learn from. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I appreciate you coming on appreciate telling your story, my man. And yeah. Have a good one. Same to you, brother. Take care. You got anything that you want to say? Um, no, thank you for having me. I, I see I see, I see. see you get down in the kitchen, too. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm about to go get down in the kitchen right now. Dude, we got to link up soon, man. I mean, I love oh, cooking. Definitely. One thing I love is I love cooking. What's your favorite dish to cook? Frick, I cook. I mean, I just started. Um, so for Valentine's, my uh, my girlfriend bought a freaking a smoker, so I just started smoking briskets. Ooh, wee. okay. Yeah. I, hey, look, I'm about to go hop on a smoker right now. Uh, yeah, I man, I haven't smoked a brisket in a while, but man, I, I shit, that brisket took me like 12 hours. I think. Dude, yeah, like, so uh, I, yeah. She bought the uh, the pellet one, so it's kind of easy. Yeah, it's like, oh, I just yeah, I put trigger, in the, the trigger. trigger. Yeah, yeah, I got two of them. I got oh, two of them. Yeah, so me, I know. I've been trying to perfect. Like, I put it on for sixteen hours. Actually, honestly, Ooh, I put it. I put okay. it on like like ten o'clock the night before, and it's done like two o'clock in the afternoon yep. the next day. Yep, yep, yep. It's crazy. Yeah, man, I, man. Look, I use that thing all the time. I use it probably like well, I ain't gonna. Lie. I didn't come back on it recently, but I normally use it at least three to four times a week. Yeah, like, freaking a- everything I cook is on that thing. Dude, it's 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 such it's it's such, it's so much fun, you know. Cooking is so much fun. It it, it's like it for me, cooking is therapeutic. Like even when uh when um my girlfriend was living, I was like, dude, let's go cook. Like I love cooking. I really do. Yeah, yeah, man. Look, man, I, and look, the best plate, the best place for recipes, YouTube. I I be I be all over YouTube dude, looking for it's, recipes. Man. It's so crazy because like you know sometimes I ain't got nothing to do. It's like ten o'clock at night. Yeah. So I end up going on YouTube looking at recipes. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> exactly. Hey, look, and and then one of the best dudes I got like a lot of information from when it came to like barbecue and on the trigger was how to barbecue right. Check him out on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. How I, to, how, how, mm-hmm. Um, I watch uh Meat Church. Okay, I ain't never heard of him, but I'm gonna check him out. Though. Yeah. What I'm is it called? How to barbecue yeah. right now? I definitely. Gonna how to that. barbecue right? Trust me, he he the guy. He the guy when it comes to trust. Trust me. Trust me, okay. Yeah, you gotta make your way down here one day. You know what I mean? Come, come to oh, a wedding. Oh, oh, I'm, 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 trust me, I'm gonna get out there. I was actually just looking up flights out there not too long ago. It was it, it was cheap for a round t- trip. I think like three hundred a person. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I need to get out that way. I need, uh, so what island you on? It's called Oahu. Oahu. Okay. Yeah. So is that like the main island out yeah, there? Or? Yeah, that's the main one. Okay. And um and freaking uh, there, I mean Maui is nice too, but Oahu is like the okay. main, like the most tourist attraction. What's the best one to go to? Um, freaking the one I'm on. Okay, can you do like island jumping? Like, can you go to like the different islands? Yeah, yeah, you but there? yeah, you can. Uh, there's other flights from island to island, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, my man. When I get out there, you gonna have to show me around. No, a definitely, bit, definitely. We'll, yeah, we'll definitely okay. link up. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah. trust me. Look, I'll be posting everything. All right, look, I appreciate you coming on, my man. You have a good one. Same to you, brother. Take care. Uh, you too.